your teeth into a toothsome tale of Tommy Rot guaranteed to scare the dickens out of you. Lean in, Fright fans. I'm going to let you in on the secret. understand that. Yes, I understand. You've got a lot to learn about discipline, Helen. It's our duty to protect these little ragamuffins from becoming juvenile delinquents. Yes, ma'am. There's one more thing. We've got to do something about Theodore. He's well past the desirable age for placement. Most adoptive parents are looking for some cute little toddler. What happened to his real parents? You must never Do I make myself clear? Or his behavior problems? Yes, ma'am. Theodore, get out of here. What are you doing here? You were spying, weren't you? No, Miss Hag said I was hungry. You little rat. Stealing food. Hmm? While the other children sleep? I'm bigger than the other kids. Oh, and that gives you the right to sneak around in the middle of the night, does it? Does it? Take him back upstairs. Make sure that he doesn't leave his room again. Yes, ma'am. You, Miss Hag, said were telling secrets about me, weren't you? What Miss Hag said and I discussed at night is very private. Miss Heather, do you have to lock me in my room? I don't make the rules, Theo. Just try and get a good night's sleep. There'll be oatmeal and warm biscuits for breakfast. And what's for lunch? Well, we'll have vegetable soup and crackers and lemonade and... Miss Hagstead! Miss Hagstead, Theodore's gone. I went to his room to get him out, and his window was open and he was gone. Oh, it's all right. He'll be back. He has these little temper tantrums every once in a while and runs off for a few hours. He's incorrigible. Got to try to get rid of him. Well, good morning, Theodore. Climbing out the window and sliding down the drain pipe in a storm is dirty work, isn't it? I want you to get out of those clothes and help Joey in the kitchen. Now! Yes, ma'am. It's getting worse. What's the difference between boogers and broccoli? Uh, kids don't eat broccoli. <laughs> That's a good one, but don't tell that to Miss Hag's dad. Theo, I have some exciting news. Joey, why don't you run off and play? Play, play, play. I never get to stick around for the good stuff. Theo, there's some special people coming here tonight who are very interested in meeting you. Now, it's important that we make a good impression. 
You do understand what this could mean, don't you? Cheer up, buckaroo. It's okay. Miss Heather! Yes, ma'am. Coming. You are perfect. Isn't he perfect? Mmm. He's perfect. We'll take him. All the rest of you are excused. <laughs> What if I don't want to go see <laughs> Oh, I understand. This is your home, Theodore. But wouldn't you like to come and live with us in the lap of luxury? Imagine having your own bathroom with towels that have your initials on them. But could I take Joe? <laughs> Theodore. Maybe we should just discuss it over a cup of tea. Theodore, you want to come and help me in the kitchen? Excuse us. Now listen to me, you pesky little Sputnik. If these people want you, you're going. Where are my real parents, Miss Hagstead? Your real parents? Oh, Theodore. Theodore, they, they, they were killed when you were just a little baby. How did they die? Well, I, the, the details aren't important. Theodore, the Colberts, they were a little eccentric. Gonna provide you with a lovely home. Good, sweet things to eat. You'd like that, wouldn't you? about that nasty old orphanage, Theodore. Won't it be wonderful having him? Mmm, <laughs> wonderful having him. You must never touch anything, Theodore. Some of these objects are extremely old. And others have... sentimental value. the door. Mr. Colbert? Mr. Colbert? <laughs> what did Miss Hagstead tell them? Breakfast, young sir. I'll be serving all your meals while the Colberts are away at work. If there's anything I can get for you, please let me know. My name is Tobias. Thank you, Tobias. May I have a glass of milk? 
How about a milkshake? I think I'm going to like it here. One milkshake coming right up. And if there's anything else you desire, please don't hesitate to call. Why are there bars outside the windows? There are bars outside all the windows in this house. For security. The Colberts collect antiques. You are the most precious thing we have, Theodore. We don't want to risk your getting lost in those woods. Mm -hmm. And Tobias is much too old to be chasing after you. I've been thinking. Maybe sometime, could we go out? You know, like to the movies or roller skating or a ball game? Like a real family. Quite a lovely idea, Theodore. Unfortunately, Mr. Colbert and I have to work tomorrow. But we're in the midst of planning something very special for you, Theodore. Very special. Really? Mm -hmm. What? Oh, it's a secret. When? You don't want us to spoil the secret, do you? I hate secrets. Lunch time. We have strawberry shortcake and a chocolate sundae with extra syrup. Here we are. We never got food like this at the orphanage. Tobias, do you think you can come back and visit before supper? I suppose I could come back and we could play a little cards or something. Ragamuffins from becoming juvenile delinquents. Yes, ma'am. It's our duty. Yes, ma'am. You've got a lot to learn about discipline. Discipline. <laughs> discipline. <laughs> discipline. <laughs> Miss Heather, is that kitchen cleaned up yet? <laughs> Something wrong, Theo? I don't feel like playing anymore. Where are the culverts? Well, they're indisposed.
But it's not my birthday. Well, of course it isn't, dear. Then it wouldn't be a surprise. It looks really good, but I'm really not hungry. I had a couple of boxes of Cracker Jacks about an hour ago. We'll save it for later, then. Well, you boys, enjoy yourselves. Your father and I are going out to paint the town red. Open your presents, Theodore. Good night, son. <laughs> work for the Colberts? For a long time. Since I was a young man. When you were a kid, did your mom and dad work every day like the Colberts do? I never knew my mother and father. You too? Yes. I was an orphan like yourself. Were you ever adopted? No. There was a Tobias at the orphanage, but we called him Toby. Does anybody call you Toby? No. But you may if you insist. I'm glad you're here, Toby. Tobias! Time for bed. Toby. Good night, Toby. Good night, my boy. is ready for me. Is ready for me. Shh. I can hear his little heart beating. Such a sweet boy. I don't think I can wait much longer. When we get home, we'll tell him our secret. Wake up, Theodore. We have to go. Hurry! I don't feel well. I have to get you out of here. It may already be too late. Well, well. <gasps> Hello, boys. Making off with the goods, are we, Tobias? But we haven't told him our secret yet. I can't go through with it. We made a deal, Tobias. You asked for immortality. Tonight, we give it to you. 
Not bad compensation for a little babysitting job. Tobias, don't you want everlasting life? <sighs> everlasting life? I can't imagine anything more tedious and boring. You quit. I take it. Please, let the boy go. But his blood is so sweet now. If we weren't already dead, Theodore, you'd be the death of us. <laughs> now I know what happened to my parents. I know why Miss Hagstead wanted to get rid of me. I have a secret too, Mrs. Colbert. I'm sure you have to. And mine is better than yours. I'm a werewolf. And I have an appetite for vampire. Dead, Miss Heather. I'm home. You're back. I know my secret, Miss Hagstead. And I think some things are going to change around. Finally, the kid gets the upper hand, or should I say, the upper paw. Just when mom and pop are about to satisfy their sweet tooth, Theodore decides to wolf down something besides sweets. <laughs> well, that's all for now, kiddies. As one cow said to the other as they headed off to slaughter, till next we meet. <laughs> <laughs> 